So glad to have you today. Uh, I want to tell you something that I've been wanting to tell you. It's one of my favorite stories. I had a friend, and a lot of people out there knew him, uh, Brother Alan Oggs. Brother Oggs was pastor of a church down close to New Orleans. And he took uh, a group of his uh, young people to the youth camp up in Tioga, Louisiana. Well, it was before computers and all that, and I'm sure they have a quick way of doing it now, but it would, may take uh, two, a couple of hours to register, get registered. And they would have a long, long line. Well, uh, Brother Oggs had a, one of the students was blind. And uh, so, but this, this particular person had an extra sense of perception in his blindness in that if you took him somewhere, he could pretty well go back to it. Brother Oggs came to him and said, son, I have some responsibilities. I have to leave, but I'm going to get someone to hold your place in line and I'm going to, I'm going to take you out to some places that you'll probably want to go back to after I'm gone. He said, I'm going to take you out to the cold drink stand where you can get a cold drink. He said, I'm going to take you out to the ball field where they be playing ball. And he said, also, I'm going to take you. He said, wait, wait a minute, Brother Oggs. If you're in a hurry, go ahead. I'll tell you what. If you'll take me to the altar and help me find the altar, he said, I have dedicated my life this week to doing nothing but help people pray through to God. And he said, if you'll take me there, he said, I can find everything else from there. Well, the little boy didn't seem blind to me. It seemed like he was could see very far because the truth of it is if we'll go to the altar we can find everything else from the altar just put our hands on the altar and let us stay until we reach God in every situation. God bless you.